tasty. It's not artificial. It's the last of the bakeries that you really could get something good. Best bakery in the valley. What are you getting? I got the cookies, okay. cupcakes, and pizza. We've been here 100 years, third generation. Now my nephew's business. That's where you start. That's right. <laughs> it's fresh. It's free of additives and preservatives. So when you buy something here, you're getting a wholesome product. A cherry dumpling. Cherry. Anything you, you make with love is going to taste amazing. This time of the year, you got punch geese. Our donuts are fresh every day, and I make them right in the morning. Pizza, bagels, donuts. Yeah. My daughter has the cookies. We make pierogi. Our family started our business out of our home in 2020, and it grew so quickly that we got a food truck and then immediately moved in here at Tarnowski's Kibasa on Main Street in Anico. The demand was yeah. instant. They're looking for pierogi that remind them of what their babcha used to make or their jaja used to make with them. It's like an art. It's like a pizza dough maker. We have a hybrid pierogi. So I traveled to Poland and saw that their pierogi were little dumplings. And then here in Northeast PA, they're a little bit bigger. So we married that in the middle to give you that authentic Polish feel. We're focused on the next generation of pierogi, so we're preserving the history, the culture, and the traditions that could be lost if we don't continue it. Morning. I always liked the smell of coffee when I was younger, and I always tried to get into a roasting company. I lived on the West Coast and grew up there most of my life. I always thought, you know, hey, if there was an opportunity, I would love to have my own coffee shop. We were able to do it, and we picked the name Dragon's Brew because I love dragons, and brew is B-R-E-W, it's coffee, you brewing coffee, so it just was a perfect fit. Oh, I love coming here. They got the best coffee, the best blend. Just the two of us. We have to make this one with almond milk. It's fun family atmosphere, and people really like that. We started out in Glen Lyon. It's actually my husband, John's grandfather. Thaddeus Tarnowski started in 1946. They had a real meat market and grocery store, and they did make their own kielbasa. We would become a staple on Main Street. We took the template from the original smoker that was Grandpa's and had someone build it for us. That is exactly how it comes out of the smoker, and it just gets refrigerated and ready for sale. Oh, go, yeah. Come on in, go right ahead. I'm from a boat, guys. I stop here quite a bit. Oh, thanks for coming. It's good. Best kibasi around that I know. Anastasia, tell us about some of the products that you have here. For the holidays, it's fresh and smoked kibasi, definitely the number one. We do make different flavors. We make it with cheese. Jalapeno and cheese is very popular. We started making it with pineapple a few years ago. Kind of our own invention, and people love it. I'll take the smoked sausage. If you know me, then you know I love animals. So this month's Eye on the Wyoming Valley is the perfect place to visit. Buttonhead Farms in beautiful Hunlock Creek. I was a stay-at-home mom before, and I was looking for something to do with my life. So I decided fitness. I loved fitness. Growing up, I was never allowed to have animals. I was just intrigued by farming, and I like to go with the flow. What, you're not hungry? I wanted a few chickens. Then one day we moved down here to where we're Buttonhead Farms is now. I looked at my husband the one day and I said, I want a goat, which was silly because you have to have two goats. Side, second right hand on top of the left is just breathe. Whoa, that's four. No keeping your hair nice. <laughs> Gently. Oh, nice. Sunshine and rainbows right now. From here, I want you to wag your goat tail right to left. Bring it back to oh, center. I'm pooped on. <laughs> she gets a t-shirt. Moved in here in 2014. These are old doors that we put together, and then we put all little fun stuff in it. We have like the history of our bar in there. My sister and I now run it. We started out wanting to be known for burgers, and wings kind of took over. How many wing sauces do you guys have now? On the menu, 87 I think it is, but then they could mix anything together too, so the possibilities are endless. Cheese steaks, burgers, of course, are great. I like making messy foods, and it's filling too, I can tell you. Yeah. We're small family owned, very close knit. It's a lot of hours, not always a party. Everybody thinks, oh, you own a bar, that's really cool. And I'm like, you don't get to sit at it very often, you know? It is more. My employees are the best. We wouldn't run without them. I appreciate them so much. They're very loyal and they care about this place too. Grilled onions, mushrooms, peppers, and bacon. Get some fries up in here. 
Lots of lots of love. My dad and his sister, which are the eighth generation and then I'm the ninth. Nobody wants to work like this anymore. You gotta be a little crazy. When my grandfather was my age, there was 88 fruit growers in Luzerne County. Now there's basically two of us. Um, wow. Just, yeah, me and Greg Heller down in Wapawalpin. It's kind of a dying breed. There's not many of us left. <laughs> Look around, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's too hard to just walk away from. These are Macallans. We kind of brought it down to a smaller scale. This was actually like a medium sized tree and we've even gone smaller than this now. Taking one right off the tree or right out of the basket in the store. So there's no comparison. I, I don't even know how to describe it. We've been making the donuts for 29 years here at Brace's Orchard. They're moist. It's 100% cider mixed with the vanilla cake donut mix. There's no water added. That's what gives it its unique moist flavor. It's not just apples anymore. We do cookies. We have like a bakery here where we um, do pies and breads and cakes and candy apples, caramel apples. Blue Chip Farm was founded by Marge Bart in 1996. It is a no-kill shelter for abandoned animals who find their way here and are cared for by incredible volunteers until they are adopted or live out their lives on the farm. Let's check it out. Come here. Give me the hugs. Mwah. I started it off in my house, and then it just grew from there. I have a soft heart for animals. This puppy came up from Louisiana along with 12 other puppies. Hi, Peaches. Uh, we get rabbits, and everybody here is spayed or neutered. All their shots are given to them. We have pop belly pigs. We have a goat. She's the kind of dog that you can't say a bad thing about. 90% of what the work that's done here is done by volunteers, and they're awesome. They're dedicated, and they do it for the animals. 40 years as Edwards Landscaping. I actually started uh, Edwards in 1978. This property became available in 1983. And we slowly developed it into a garden center and also we sell to uh, local contractors, other landscapers. We're really a full service garden center. People could come here and get their questions answered. Right now we are flipping over into our Christmas mode. We'll have an area set up with Santa Claus and one of his elf helpers. We've got the tree here with children from the Wyoming Valley Children's Association. Customers will come in, they'll take the name of a child and buy a gift that's appropriate. We have the trees, Fraser fir, Douglas fir, Concolor, blue spruce, just a, a lot of greens to make the uh, the holidays more festive. And it looks like you use all different types of greens too. We do, there's Fraser fir, balsam, spruce, just a real mix. When this is on the front door of a house, it's, it's just gorgeous.